In today's video, we are going to be changing the spark plugs on a 2007 Toyota Camry with the 2.4 liter. Uh, here's the part number on these bad boys. These are the Denso Iridiums right there, SK20R11, and then the Toyota part number above it. Um, fancy little set there. They were about 10 bucks a piece. And first thing you're going to do, of course, is we're going to take off the stupid beauty cover. This is held down by two 10 millimeter nets and they get hot. Helps to have a handy little spot to lay them so they don't get lost. Once you get those off of there, you're just going to lift the beauty cover up and off. Set it aside and you can see the four coils. Um, the coils have to come off, obviously, so we're gonna unbolt the coil and then we just pull it up and out. These are also 10 millimeter bolts. And unscrew this bad boy. You can disconnect the electrical behind it if you, um, if you want to, that might be a good idea. I'm gonna see if I can just get away with not doing that. So we're gonna wiggle it a little, pull it on up. And then if you look down in there, which you're not gonna be able to see, there's a spark plug. Um, if you don't know what a spark plug looks like, here you go. I'm gonna show it to you. Camera's not focusing. Focus, focus, all right. Here we have it, Denso. Comes with a little plastic protector. You don't need to gap these. They're just ready to install. Uh, do get yourself some anti-seize to put on these guys. Because I think these are rated for 100,000 plus miles. And so if you're going to have this running in an engine that heats up and gets cold and heats up and gets cold <clears throat> for 100,000 miles, what's, what's a little anti-seize going to do? What's it gonna hurt? You need a 5.8 spark plug removal tool. It's got the little rubber rubber thing in there that helps hold the spark plug onto it. Yeah. This is the anti-seize lubricant that I was talking about before. And we're just gonna put a little bit on the threads, but first we're gonna take the one out of there that's in there. Ladies and gentlemen, I made a boo-boo. I don't have an extension long enough for this. So off to the auto parts store. Back from the auto parts store, I got a long extender for it, a fancy one. This is definitely going to reach down in there to get our spark pluggers out. Um, oh, I put this back together again because <laughs> I had to move it. So we're going to take this back off. All right, make sure we set this thing to loose in, right? Loosey, goosey, ready, tidy. We put it right over the spark plug and we're going to go ahead and break it loose. Nice and easy. Makes me wonder if these things have been done before. And we're just going to spin this around until we got our spark plug loose. There we got a spark plug. Pretty normal looking spark plug. So we're going to see what kind of spark plug it was though. And it was a Denso. New spark plug. Right here. There we got the new Denso. Stick it down in there. See how that little rubber thing holds it in place, right? So it doesn't fall out. Stick, oh, wait, I'm gonna put some uh, anti-seize on this. A little dab will do ya, that sort of thing. Um, the one that was on it wasn't bad at all, but we're just gonna go ahead and goop this stuff on here a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna drop her down in here, boys and girls. Spin her back on. Spin, spin, spin. You don't wanna go overly tight with these, just snug. They're not going anywhere. You know, they're not going to fly off. Flip this on over to righty tighty mode. Yes, that's an actual mode. Let me just make sure it's snug. And it's snug. Put the coil back on there. Make sure you push it down all the way. Boop. And we go ahead and put the 10 millimeter bolt back in. And cinch it down nice and snug. And then you just do this process times four. And you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching. Pretty please subscribe if you want to. Leave a comment if this helped you out. 
made you a little more confident, hopefully, in changing your own spark plugs.